New Home DIY is all about discoveries and surprises. And we have plenty of those here at the old Blue Last in Shoreditch. Yesterday, Andrew and Ashley found out that they had a live gas pipe in their fireplace, no cast iron insert behind the old seal, and no working chimney. <laughs> the web is a wonderful thing, and this 21st century technology has provided us with the centrepiece to Andrew and Ashley's flat in a 19th century public house. So it needs centering up, just raising slightly, fixing back, and of yeah. course only a couple of fixings at the top because the weight keeps it all down. And then we're ready to put the surround on. Now that should stand there quite safely for now because all the weight's on the back of it, so... A bit of measuring to do. And that should fit neatly across the top. Just double check that they're parallel all the way down. That's pretty close. You took away my toy. There you go. <laughs> one more, one more go then. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, we need to backfill this fire now yeah. so that it retains the heat. So we've got a nice big bulk of sort of cement and stuff and stone behind it and all that gets heated up rather than an air void so it won't lose its heat so yeah. quick. It wants to be packed in there with loads of bits of the old brick and stuff that we pulled out and you can break those up with the hammer and bolster. Now I've got to finish this fire surround so I'm going to let you two carry on with that. Meanwhile, Ashley and Andrew were getting all creative with their final touches to the fireproof cement, adding a memento for the moment. With the mantelpiece ready to go on, who knows how long it will be before this new fireplace is opened up again. Ooh, like a How's it going? That should... I'm just uh, wetting up this plaster. I've taken off all the loose stuff so I can put the new plaster on and it sticks well. The old Blue Last is an extraordinary old building and as a new home, Andrew and Ashley have taken on a great deal of work. Well, this little frame is going to set around here so that I can put all the screed inside here to create a nice level hearth. In just two days, Andrew and Ashley have exposed a legacy of neglect at the heart of their new home and restored it to its former Victorian glory. Not bad for a couple of days' work, eh? Great. It looks amazing. I love it. Thanks so much. You did well. You helped out. Okay. So we've knocked a small bit off of your DIY to-do list. Yeah, time for a well-deserved plank downstairs. I think so. <laughs> <laughs>